In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best crossman defenses that you can use to shut down pretty much any offense in Madden 23. And it comes to us out of the 46 playbook. I think 46 is the best defense of playbook equipped for this. And the reason is because it has nickel 3-3 and nickel 33 cub now if you're watching this video and you want to get my nickel 33 cub defensive ebook um, the link is in the description for just ten dollars you'll be able to join the patreon and get access to all of my man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks including the nickel 33 cub so you get all of the ebooks for just ten dollars if you want to sign up for that the link is in the description below so we don't have to set any audibles in the nickel 33 cub to run this Really what we want to do is we just want to go in our players and sub in safeties at the linebacker position. Okay, sub in safeties at the linebacker position. And this is going to give us a massive, massive advantage. So I'm going to come out in nickel 3-3 cub and kind of explain why you want to do this. If you'll see here, when I come out in this formation, if I try to man this guy up, um, I can't man him up on the square receiver on the other side of the field. In this guy's example here, I can't man him up on the square receiver. I can't man him up on the slot receiver or the number one receiver. So I can only really man up uh, him on a couple players. So I don't have the full arsenal, the full plethora of adjustments that is afforded to me whenever I audible down from nickel 3-3. Not to mention the fact that I have significantly better personnel because I have super fast players on the field. Okay, so we're going to audible down. And now what you're going to notice with this, and I need to take baseline off, uh, but what you're going to notice with this defense is um, you're going to be able to, between these two linebackers that are safeties, and between these two guys, you are going to be able to cross man anyone you want. You'll see here, if I try to hot rock this guy, I can now man him up on anybody. I can now man the right side guy up on anybody. I can take the safety and man him up on anybody. I can take the other safety and man him up on anybody, right? I can cross man four players. I'm, I'm, I'm afforded four different players where we can make adjustments that are going to help us. Now, again, the best routes in the game right now are corner routes. Uh, but I think even more over, we're starting to see kind of a shift in that. And you're seeing a lot more crossers and post routes, um, specifically from the slot receiver position. So what I like to do is essentially a layered approach, if you will, um, to these adjustments. We know that one of the best routes in the game is a wheel route to the slot receiver, right? Out of Pat's Y out. In U trips, you could see this out of this same meta out of Bunch or Trips. It's, it's pretty much in any good formation this year. These wheel routes are really, really good. So what I want to do though, but, but at the same time, I know that there's another really good route from this formation, and that is the play curl flat where this guy's on that post route, and you'll see here, because of his alignment, you know, he can really cook man coverage well. So what I want to do is take away the wheel, but I also want to take away the post. So what I like to do is this. This is where cross man really comes in handy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the left or the, the right side defender and we are going to man him up onto the tight end, right? So that we can have good, solid man coverage on that tight end. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this other defender and we're going to man him up on the running back. And then we can go nuts with our adjustments. So what I like to do is basically cross man the slot receiver. And I can do that with anyone. I can do that with a linebacker. I can I can do that with a safety, right? If I if I want to, um, you know, if I want to do the cross man, I can do that however I want. But in this example, we'll do it with a linebacker. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this slot and we're going to man him up on circle. This allows us to then put that circle player into a zone or a hard flat, just like so. Now, when they try to throw this wheel route, I've got a hard flat sitting right in that area, but I've also, which we'll show you here, I'll do the same adjustments, but I also now have this linebacker in a really good position to be able to defend the, um, I got this, this linebacker in a really, really good position to be able to defend um, the the curl flat post right so if I'm in something like this for example 
um, you see that you know we set up some adjustments maybe we cross me in like this I think this is actually a super under radar cross man do something um, kind of crazy something you know we have the purple here and then we have the, the cross man you can go cra as crazy with this as you want the idea is that your outside defenders are really more of helps and you want to be manning people up from the inside you're gonna find a lot of success with this okay um, so as you see here we have everybody in good man good solid man coverage now if they run that curl flat play watch this cross man just lurk this post route cross man i think is one of the super big secrets of the three 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 cut meta and why i think these two defenses are super good um because these are the, the only defenses that allow you to do this from almost everybody on the field can be cross man you know, so let's say, for example, uh, one of the most popular routes in U-Trips is this route to square. So I'm going to do a kind of a popular setup, something like this. We're going to motion over the street, um, you know, and, and, and again, I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and motion over and just so you can see it. So you see here, um, you know, what we can do is we can, uh, again, we can, uh, you know, take the safety for example, and we can man him up there, and if we want to put the, the flat, we still have the flat. You want to have a hard flat on the left side. But the other thing that we can do with this, uh, with, with how they've motioned, right, the other thing that we can do with this is we can take the linebacker, because uh, we have the hard flat for the tight end, right? We can take the linebacker and cross man him on the tight end, and we can take the other linebacker and cross man him on that receiver that is always on those pesky post routes, that give me uh, a significant amount of trouble. And then we can take this guy square before they did this motion, which I'll, I'll just shift back here just to show this. You can take this guy and you can put him in an outside third. So now you have two players, uh, two key players in the formation, cross man. You have one player that's traveling in main coverage with this guy, and then you still have everything manned up and, and handled. So the wheel route's handled there. The cross man is gonna lurk right there. And that time we were able to complete it, but I'm just telling you from experience, a lot of times those are going to be lurk, lurk interceptions, um, especially if you have good players in coverage. So not only can we do that, but this formation allows us to basically blitz the crib against the running back, and oftentimes we'll loop around and get pressure against the, a blocked running back consistently. So there's a lot of value in this formation. The coverage from 3-3 is incredible, um, from 3-3 and 3-3 Cub, to be honest. But what makes this defense, I think, super special is the fact that we can do stuff like this where we're cross-manning, um, you know, we're cross-manning the best players on the field. So in this example, we take the safety, we got, look at this cross-man logic. This is super, super good. And then you can just do something like this, you know, and then if they motion the slot, then you would just change... Uh, the slot guy back to man coverage or whatever. So this is just an extremely, extremely versatile uh, cross man tactic that I think is going to, I think will actually be super glitchy over the long haul of the game. So if you want to learn more about the 3-3 Cub defense, I really encourage you to get my 3-3 Cub defensive ebook. The link to that is in the description. Join the Patreon to get access to that. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for the Patreon. It's going to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the 3 3 Cub defense. I think the 3 3 Cub defense is really, really, really good. And I think it's really good for where the game's heading meta wise as well. And when you pair that with some of the adjustments that you can, you literally can't make these adjustments out of any other defense in the game. That's what makes 3 3 Cub so, di so different, is it's the only defense in the game where you can cross man four to five players at a time and you can man up those linebackers on literally anybody on the field like if i want to man up circle on the right side to try to stop a skinny post like just for fun let's just show you so we're gonna we're gonna man up circle watch this linebacker just lurk watch him just lurk the in route you can do stuff like that so as crossers and posts become more meta this defense is going to really be valuable Thank you for watching the video. If you want to get our full ebook on this, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get that access to the ebook, head down to the description and click the link down below.